Hi guys, thanks for watching another video from curious-howto.com. Today I'd just like to show you how to set up a remote desktop. A remote desktop is uh, when somebody else can control your computer from a different location. So, Or you can control somebody else's computer from your location. So like if your parents or your grandmother is having trouble with their computer and they need a little help and you know, you're trying to explain them what to do over the phone and it's just not working for you because they just don't understand what you're trying to say. So there's an easy way to do this. Well, there's many different ways to do this, but I'll show you two different ways that I know that work really well. One is Chrome Remote Desktop. So if you do a search for Chrome Remote Desktop, right below the ads here it will be the first top number one link. So if you click on it, it'll take you to this website. And this is the Chrome web store. So Chrome is uh, owned by Google, so it's a pretty safe and secure program. Uh, usually it says install here, but mine's already installed, so it just wants it just says launch app. Uh, all you have to do with this one is you click install, and it will download the file. It takes a few minutes, and once the file is downloaded, automatically it will come back to this, and it will just say launch app. That's all you have to do. So then you hit the launch app. And then when you first hit the launch app here, you got to add your computer here at the bottom. So mine says disable because I already added my computer. But what you want to do is you click uh, add the computer or something. And then uh, and then it will ask you a couple questions like set up a PIN number. You got to put in a PIN number. And that's pretty much it, you know. And then if you wanted to control somebody else's computer, you know, you hit the share button here or this is how somebody else can control your computer so it gives you a pin code here and all you would have to do is give the pin code to the other person who just hits the access button right here and all they have to do is copy and paste the pin code that you gave them and then hit connect and then they will have control of your computer and they can show you how to do whatever that you're not understanding and it's very good because yeah like I said I've tried teaching many people over the phone what to do and you know if they're not understanding what to do to begin with it's very hard to tell them on how to do it especially over the phone and then you can see exactly what they're doing wrong when you when you connect or you have control over of their computer like uh, when you set up a remote desktop so this is a Chrome way and Chrome you know you need the Chrome browser the Chrome internet browser to do this and you know it's uh, it's you need that depend that dependency so sometimes I like to use what's a different program actually I'd, I'd rather use this other program which is called team viewer and I already have it installed for you guys so I already installed it it's called team viewer and this is version 8 and this is what it looks like to start with but if you want to download it you go to www.team you dot com when you get to the website there's a big huge download button and you hit the download button and then it will download and just it would be here in the corner right here where you, once it's downloaded uh, unless you're using uh, Mozilla Firefox which has a different download window and then once it's downloaded you just double click and you click yes to a couple questions that they ask you and then there's a part where it asks you what kind of license one you, you want to use. You just make sure that you use the personal license, which is a free license for you to use, and anybody can use it. So once it's installed, this is what it looks like when it first, first pops up. Uh, this would be your ID and your password, and this would be what you punch in when you want to enter somebody else's computer, and then so. Let's say you had it installed on your grandparents had this team viewer installed on their computer and they would give you their their ID number and then you would just punch in their ID number right here. And then you would hit connect to computer or partner and then it would ask you right after it would ask you for a password which is their password which is right there this password is not always the same it resets itself it changes after a while or you could click this reset button here so it's not like after you install this that you'll always have access to their computer or something it's not like that um, like it will reset so you you won't have access to it all the time and it's good because you know sometimes I don't know if it's your dad or something he doesn't want you to be uh, accesses, accessing his computer all the time just once in a while that he needs help or whatever uh, so once you do that and you hit 
connect partner and you would put in the password a uh, big full window would come up and then you would have control of their computer and you could show them to do whatever they needed to do send an email I don't know watch some porn I, <laughs> I don't know but uh, so there's a bunch of different things what's really cool with team viewer is that uh, you can actually download an app for your Android or for your iPhone so that you can control your computer from your telephone uh, so you, you could make your computer do whatever you want you know off your telephone so if you're in the boonies or whatever and you need to start some sort of program on your tele on your computer uh, and you have team viewer running so all you would have to do is punch in your 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 ID and then it, your ID never changes so if you're using a phone and you've punched in your ID once before your ID will be saved so you don't need to re-enter the ID or memorize the ID so it'll be in your phone forever but <clears throat> the password changes unless you create a personal password right here so if you create a personal password this password will never change and this is one that you can use all the time to connect to your computer with so um, so that you can do that off your phone because yeah like I said this password here actually resets itself sometimes uh, I don't know how often it does but once in a while it changes so it, if you want access to your computer all the time from your phone or something or from a different computer if you want access to your computer from a different computer uh, because you're out somewhere out and about you know you want to set up a personal password and, and this will be yours forever and uh, TV viewer is really cool I use it all the time like I said uh, my parents or my grandparents and my mom that lives in a different province here <laughs> She's uh, she needs she has trouble all the time and she lives really far away. It's four thousand kilometers away, and this way I can actually give her a hand and show her how to do things, which is really neat. So this is a remote desktop uh, program. So thank you very much for watching my video.